today, in this day and age, we all want a salad here in Boston in the middle of February when there's six feet of snow on the ground. It's a fact, but it's not possible based on all of these constraints in our region. But through technology and design, that's no longer a problem. So a leafy green machine is a 40-foot shipping container. So we use a, an insulated sealed former reefer container. The great thing about the leafy green machine is you can tune different results. Uh, so if you're growing specific crop types, you can really change the environment to maximize the output uh, for different varieties. So one big part of that is light. Being able to turn the blue spectrum up and red down or reverse and find what matches the right plant attributes. Growing facility where all these settings are easily accessible through the app, it really makes anybody an expert in growing. Our customers are, are probably the most exciting part of the business because they, they're a wide range. You know, so we've everything we've deployed with large academic institutions feeding their cafeterias, you know, multi-generational food distributors in cities, uh, some restaurants and hospitality groups, and then the, the area that's probably the most dynamic and most exciting are small business farmers. So a number of you know, husband and wife teams, single entrepreneurs, you know, all over North America at this point who are using freight farms to start a business and uh, really supply fresh local food year-round. You can grow quite a few things. I mean, we've grown peas, uh, we've grown tomatoes, we've grown uh, a lot of interesting herbs. Uh, scarlet frilly mustard greens that taste like horseradish, wasabi, arugula, that basically taste pretty much like wasabi. It'd be a good substitute. Uh, and we try them out here and see what people like. The Freight Farm is helping students to learn how to be the next generation of farmers. So it's managed by the food service company, but there are student volunteers that actually work in the farm, help with transplanting, harvesting to stock their salad bar for fellow students. So for the first time, that institutional food service cafeteria is intimately involved with the students' daily lives and actually putting them on a path, we think, to exploring farming and food production as a career for after they leave college. Freight farms in five years is, is exciting and it's hard to even think about because the food system on a whole, this global system that we're, we're already part of and impacting is going to see a shift. Where I see freight farms playing that role is having farmers that are empowered to play the role that they choose in their food system and being less dependent on uh, climate actions, things like this, and natural disasters and being able to be more self-reliant. So it's a big thing, but I think in five years we're going to look at the global food landscape and say, wow, I didn't see this coming five years ago.